another Scott Family Farms shorts. Uh, little shorts. Shorts, shorty shorts. Short shorts. Who wears short shorts? Something like that. What's up everybody? Another nice day here on Scott Family Farms. It's a little chilly. I say a little chilly, it's like 65. But I've got my Jaycox Implement hoodie on. Thank you Mark, appreciate it. Jaycox is our dealership that we buy all of our uh, equipment from. Most of our equipment, probably 90%. Sam and Lincoln are out walking around a little bit today, that's good. So today I am going to be spraying some corn. I got the sprayer out. I'm going to uh, get everything all situated there. I've got some chemicals in the shed here that I gotta get out to the water truck and then we'll get some spraying done. Hey you, what's up? Are y'all walking? You ready to get out? You wave? Bless <laughs> you. load of corn spray ready to go. Heading out to the, to the field. I can talk. <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. <laughs> we are headed out to the field, get unfolded, and start spraying. This application, we are spraying 15 gallons of water or mix to an acre, as opposed to on the beans, we were spraying only 10 gallons of mix an acre. And that will cover about 70 acres of corn. I'm just getting to the field, so let's get unfolded and get going. Almost got started. Remember how I said starting is the hardest part? Oh, yeah. I've got a end cap that blew off the end. You can only hit so many fence poles with those before they crack and break off, so I don't know how that happened. What'd you do? So we'll get that switched out and uh, I'll show you guys what actually happened there. Right there. It snapped off. So we will take that off and put the new one on. It's the lug nut. Fixed it. Luckily that's a pretty easy fix. So uh, we got it put back on. Should be good to go. Let's try this again. So I'll show you guys why we're actually out here spraying today and why we need to spray our, our cornfields like this. You can see all those little weeds out there. If we don't kill them now, they will overgrow our corn and then our corn will be starved for nutrition and it can get out of control really fast. So we need to get on it and get those weeds killed before they take over and then we have a field of weeds instead of a field of corn. It's not what we're trying to do here. So uh, 
Let's get going. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, come on, 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 come on. Roads where we're going, we don't need roads. All right, we're ready to load the sprayer up with another load. I sprayed one off already. I've just got a little bit of that field left and then uh, I will move on to another field. But I wanna talk about what we're spraying today. Uh, the first product we're spraying and adding to our mix is ammonium sulfate. Comes in these 50 pound bags. It says 51 pounds. Ammonium sulfate is a fertilizer that helps with alkaline soils. It allows more nutrients to be available for the plant, mostly nitrogen. So uh, we use in this mix, three bags of that per tank. I'll show you what it looks like here. It's a granular, it's like a large, larger salt type of grain. It'll all break up and, and break down in the water when we get it mixed in. The next product we're using is called Harness. It is a herbicide which will kill the weeds out there that we don't want. That is what's in this big tank here. Next we are using Roundup, which is in this tank on the ground. And Roundup, just uh, for your information, does not cause cancer. Uh, you have a better chance of getting cancer from being in the sun. There has been numerous, numerous studies on Roundup. It has been around for decades and decades. These lawsuits that are out there that say Roundup caused cancer, in my opinion, are nothing but a publicity stunt for that person or a money grab against a large corporation. And again, that's my opinion. From working with this product for many years and my dad working with it, uh, we know it's very safe and we know it's safe to use. Now, granted, with Roundup or any chemical that you're using, you do need to be safe about it. Maybe if you would drink a couple gallons of it, yeah, it would it would probably do some damage to you. The same would happen with caffeine. If you drank a concentrated amount of caffeine, yeah, it would kill you. Roundup has a lower toxicity than table salt. So if you would consume the same amount of table salt and Roundup, the table salt would actually be more toxic to you. It's a very safe product, uh, regardless of some of the uh, news that you might have heard about it. Anyway, after Roundup, we are using, out of these two bulk tanks down here, one of those products is zinc and one, one is boron. Those are just uh, minerals that we're adding to our mix while we're out there that will help plant growth and plant health. And the last thing we're putting in, it is a plant-based oil. What that does is it allows all of the mix that we're making to stick to the plant or the weeds and uh, be more effective that way. We want it on the plant and on the weed in order to kill that weed. We don't want it washing off or falling off. We don't want to use any extra that we don't have to. It is very expensive and we want to take care of our fields, yes, but we want to do it in a responsible and sustainable way and using as little as we can is what we will do. Yep, I am still spraying. This is the fourth load today. We just finished up some supper, I had some tacos. This burrito is delicious, but it is filling. They were delicious. Now I'm off to spray another load before it gets too dark. Uh, you can spray in the dark, but uh, I like to be able to see what I'm doing. And we're not in a big hurry to get this done, so. I will do uh, this load and then probably call it a night. All right, that load's done. Uh, it, it's been a good day. 
I think it worked out just perfectly. I am, my computer says I'm empty, but I got the field done without running out, which is always good. Uh, today I got 270 acres covered, and that was since noon, so I was, uh, I was doing pretty good since noon. Whoa, check out that guy. He makes Speedy Gonzales look like regular Gonzales. Tomorrow's supposed to be nice again, so I'm hoping I can get at least 300 acres done again tomorrow, and that would about do it. We are only going over our corn once this year uh, with our program that we have, and that should be enough. I am going to go home and get some sleep, maybe. We'll see. I might just edit some video. Man, I need a haircut. Look at them wings.